The 13th of March 2013 is NHS Change Day. It's your chance to get involved in the biggest improvement exercise the NHS has ever seen. We're asking people to pledge to do one small or large thing that will make a difference to the wider work of the NHS. To get involved, go to the Leicester Hospital's website or the Change Day website and make a pledge. I pledge to listen to the views of frontline staff and turn those views into action. If I had a chance, I'd pledge to change the actual state of the change, sorry, the waiting rooms in the urgent care centre, just so it makes more inviting for younger children. Uh, I'd pledge for there to be uh, less paperwork and uh, more communication. The Dermatology Department pledges to pilot a more accountable electronic system of record keeping called EYES to create a more efficient way of communicating with GPs and other health professionals after we've seen a patient with a skin problem. I pledge to develop an improvement approach that encourages and enables staff to identify and lead change as part of their day-to-day -day work. Procurement pledges to free up operational space by clearing away archive files no longer required. I pledge that nurses should be treated much better, valued, that way they'll be able to do their job much better and we'll get, as, us as a community, would we'll get much better treatment. My pledge for NHS Change Day is to spend more time listening to patients and staff and to act upon their concerns. My pledge is to ensure I speak to at least 10 of our frail elderly patients to understand the experience they've had in our hospital. I pledge to undertake some clinical shifts to see what impact the patient safety programme the time leading on is having on staff and patients. Well, I would pledge to care as much as possible to, to each individual person, to their individual needs. My pledge is to try some of the children's medications I dispense in the emergency department. We know that some medications are easy to take, but some of them aren't particularly palatable. And this pledge will help me understand some of the difficulties that parents have in giving medications to their children. I pledge to work harder to build the interface between primary and secondary care and make it more effective. I pledge to give more written information to my patients and their relatives so they can better understand their diagnoses. I would pledge that, well, nurses, everyone in the NHS need to have more of a cultural sort of understanding, um, only because certain patients do go into a hospital and don't actually feel, feel fully understood. My pledge is to make more of an effort to treat all patients as individuals and as I would like to be treated.